in this segment we are going to talk about the financial returns interest rate and we are going to also learn what is the technical difference between a financial return and interest rate so sometimes people think as if the return is the same as the interest rate but there is a technical difference between the two and they are two distinct concepts they are two different concepts when we say a return it's basically a financial return which person can get if he is holding if he is making an investment or holding a certain financial instrument for a certain time and whatever loss or gain he will get over that investment over a certain period of time is called that financial return whereas the interest rate is the fixed amount of money which is promised by a financial institution that will be given to the person who has invested the money with the financial institution so again that is also a function of time uh, we decide or determine the values of interest rate based upon the time period but the financial return is technically different from the concept of interest rates so interest rates are more or less fixed by the central bank of an of a country like in pakistan it is the state bank of pakistan that fixes the interest rates and then accordingly all the financial instruments that are traded in the business that are offered in the business sector or in the corporate sector for them the interest rate is decided by the financial institutions according to the interest rates that are decided by the based upon the interest rates that are decided by the central bank so when we talk about the rate of return we are going to take an example in order to understand the concept of how the rate of return can be calculated so for example we are having a coupon bond and we have already discussed the concept of a coupon bond so its face value is rupees 1000 and it is stated that the coupon rate is 10% which means that after every year the person who owns the coupon bond will get 10% of the face value which is assumed to be rupees 1000 in this example so for example after a year has passed and because of the demand and supply interaction in the bonds market in the coupon bond market the the price of that coupon bond increased from rupees 1000 to rupees 1200 that means rupees 1200 so uh, if the person who owns that coupon bond sells the bond in the market he will get two types of payments one a, one will be the coupon rate which is assumed to be 10% so he will get 10% of the money which he has invested and then at the top of it he is going to get the difference of the prices the price at which he has purchased the coupon bond and the price at which he is going to sell the coupon bond fine so in our example the purchase price was 1000 and the sale price is 1200 so there would be a difference of rupees 200 so when we take into account all this all this information we can find out the rate of return and that will be calculated by considering the 10% of 1000 as the interest which or the coupon rate and then there is a difference of 200 rupees on the price of the coupon the sale price and the purchase price so we aggregate these two which and then divided by the initial price of the coupon bond which which is assumed to be 1000 rupees in this example so as a result we will get 300 divided by 1000 and if we convert it into into percentage form or if we simplify it we get that the rate of return for this particular coupon bond in this example turns out to be 30% or 0.3 so in percentage form we can put it as 30% so we can say that although the interest rate or the coupon rate in this example was given to be 10% but when we calculated the rate of return it turned out to be 30% so from here we can understand that the two concepts are different interest rate is 
should not be assumed to be the same as the rate of return we need to use the formula which i have just used uh, to find out the values of the rate of return whereas the interest rates are usually given in the scenario or given by the financial institutions or given by the central bank of a country